Do you agree with what Kermit has to say? Are you living your life green or green with envy? Today on The Express, we've got a twist on interior and exterior design. On today's show. The idea is to actually have in your closet something that's green. Cultus Lake Water Park's big summer. Wear it and compost it. The Little Green Dress Project. It's to slough off the top layers of the skin. West Coast style. How to get an on-the-go glow. We love our dogs, they're our children. Capital Direct Dream Homes. This fancy Fido's Whistler Wow. We're gonna make some coconut sticky rice for dessert. Plus, happy kids and hungry ovens. See that and more local expression. Welcome to The Express, soon to be Go Vancouver, only on Shaw TV. I'm Johanna Ward. That's right, we're getting a new name and a new look. We'll have details later on today's show. Right now, let's talk about cleaning out your closets. Imagine, instead of taking your stuff to a clothing swap or doing a drop-off at Sally Ann, you could compost the little black dress that you don't wear anymore. That's the concept of a summer art project here at Van Dusen, where green is the new black. The Little Green Dress Project is putting an eco spin on the every woman's LBD. The idea is to actually have in your closet something that's green, not as in the color, but as in sustainably made. Each design is based on a classic sleeveless dress. Think Coco Chanel from the 1960s. From there, it's wherever Nicole's idea goes, or maybe we should say grows. So not even going to fabric, but using the plants themselves. But don't think environmental artist Nicole Dextrous expects you to keep one of these organic originals actually in your closet. I'm using all natural materials and the tagline for the project is wear it and compost it. Nicole creates the pieces inside the glass house at Van Dusen. Each design a fresh work of art. It's really a challenge because every time I don't know what I'm going to get. So I'm improvising. Her plan is to finish 21 little green dresses by September 30th, each taking about four days to make. This is Tansy and this person brought me this flower because she doesn't have a garden. Okay. So she uh, picked it from along the railroad tracks because it's a weed. But when I made it, it was this beautiful bright yellow dress. And now of course it's changing color. Hmm, not exactly fade resistant material. With that in mind, Nicole photographs every dress for her website before adding to the exhibit in Van Dusen's perennial garden. Designing the dresses for different women, do you think about the personality of that woman as you're doing it? Or is yeah. it more about the, uh, the materials you're using? It's, it's both. Each participant, specially chosen for her involvement in eco fashion, answers a questionnaire. Like, do they have a favorite piece of clothing that's eco-fashion? And how many little black dresses or little green dresses do they have in their closet? Yes. Right don't ask yeah. me, don't ask <laughs> me. So it's fashion as art or art as fashion, or how about a sustainability that never goes out of style? You can go to littlegreendresses.wordpress.com to see each dress as it's completed. You can also come here to Van Dusen until September 30th to see them in person as part of Earth Art 2012. Okay, so there's a twist on the green thumb. How about a twist on the traditional cooking class? There's a new program in North Vancouver that's teaching kids the ropes, or maybe that's the whisks, to have them gourmet chefs by the time they're teens. Today we made a pad thai, or we're making a pad thai. We made some uh, fresh rolls with mango and chicken. And yeah, we we're gonna make some coconut sticky rice for dessert. Delicious smells are wafting from the kitchen here at the Hungry Oven in North Vancouver. The Hungry Oven is BC's only fully dedicated, purpose-built cooking facility for children three and a half to about 16. And we also run some adult programs. Teens and kids like Sabine are given instructions and then let loose to work on some impressive recipes. I enjoy cooking because it's something you can do and you don't have set rules for it. You can kind of bend the rules. I just really find it fun because you can create a bunch of stuff. Just, uh, I guess, like whatever you want. There's no boundaries. Gus was a student last year and is spending this summer assisting the instructors. Earlier in 2012, he placed third in the BC Chefs Association Team Cooking Contest. I was actually the youngest chef ever to compete in the competition. It was half an hour long, or a half hour time period where you had to make two of the same dish for some judges. 
now he's looking into a career in the industry and is already keen to share his passion for cooking with others. It is educational, but I don't think uh, I don't think they realize it at the time. <laughs> Mostly, they're just here to have fun. And the most common thing that we hear is sort of kids that are like, oh, I don't think I like that. And then by the time they have finished cooking something and creating something, wow, this is really good. The finished product is even plated with style, though Sabine has found a flaw in the quality of their cuisine. My parents really love the cinnamon buns. We made them yesterday, probably about 10 I brought home and they're all gone today. I'm not really happy that I only got one because I made them and I want to enjoy them. The Hungry Oven also offers kitchens specifically made for really young kids, even with special knives, teaching all ages the satisfaction of making a great meal. I get happy and enjoy it more than if I just bought it or something, because you know it's in it and you've made it, like, on your own. There's nothing like it. There is nothing like getting into the kitchen with children and showing them all the wonderful things that they can do with food. A full list of programs for kids and adults can be found at thehungryoven.com. I'm Paul McClellan in North Vancouver for The Express. The website is thehungryoven.com and the school offers programs for kids between the ages of 3 and 16. You're watching The Express, one of our final shows before the big change. And here's what's up next. It's just love off the top layers of the skin. West Coast style. Mm. Can really help with the oily appearance. We love our dogs, they're our children. Capital Direct Dream Homes. This is the uh, doggy shower. The Express, we are your local voice. The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.